All right, a little video on my tilt-over crank-up mast. As you can see, the antenna is 90 degrees to the pole. I did that with a hinge, and the hinge has a locking mechanism, which is gravity-assisted. And when that drops down, it'll go down here, and it'll lock the entire assembly, so it'll be one solid piece, won't be able to flex. This is, of course, my lanyard to pull up the locking mechanism to unlock it. And the idea is that when I get it up vertical, the antenna will be vertical. And then when I want to let it down, I just unlock that elbow and tilt the mast so that the hinge will fold down. If you'll notice, I put the hinge at less than 70 degrees so that it's at a diagonal and it's self-supporting at this point. And the idea is when it's up high and it's vertical, it can tilt down, but I won't tilt it down this way. What I'll do is 90 degrees to the pole, I'll have it tilt down so the forces on it aren't too solid and won't break it. Coming this way, it would fall against gravity. Coming this way, it's going to be trans transitioning in a horizontal plane. So that should work out. Two meter Yagi on top, also 440. Coaxes are up, coaxes are spun. Got a couple of anchor ropes already put on it. I think it's time to jack this bad boy up. I still have the locking mechanism in here, which will lock the mast when it's uh, elevated. This, will, this pin will fall inside and lock the second to the third outer casing and take the weight and strain off of it. So, let's see here. We hook up our power source. And let's see if I can get this to go the first time without any casualties. Uh, one piece of coax is in the way. Got to worry about pinch hazards. Okay. And now, let's see. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower the antenna so that it's uh, resting. This is my safety catch here. I'll take this off. Little bungee cord. And we'll lower the, the mast down. Little tiny bit. And down she goes. Okay, now we gotta raise it up. Red on the right, and up she goes. All right, mid-course check. The hex beam is set. The uh, two-meter antenna is in line with the antenna itself. And we got some little batteries here for my uh, RC aircraft so I can tilt the... Uh, rotor. I built a little box to uh, control it so I can feed power out here and make this thing go. Sorry for the camera work. I think I'm going to do it easy. I'm going to use the big battery. All right, let's see if we can do this. Here. I'll try to put the battery. could really use a film crew. Let's see if this will work. 